Hey everybody, welcome to workout number nine. Uh, thanks for being here. We're glad you're joining us. Today's gonna be a little bit different than previous workouts. I need you guys to grab some. Uh, all around your house, you should probably have something you can use for this. I have ideally a tennis ball. If you have a tennis ball, it'd be great to grab. If you don't have a tennis ball, maybe you have a mini basketball. Uh, if you have this, great. If maybe you have like a little rubber ball that your dog uses or you play with outside, Maybe grab that. Uh, if you have none of those things, oh, one more, maybe a racquetball that you have. If you have none of those things, I know all of you have a pair of socks. Uh, grab this if you have nothing else. You can just roll them together. You probably have this right now, stinky socks on your bedroom floor. So quickly, pause this video, go grab a small ball. We're gonna use that in today's dribbling workout. Okay, go. All right, assuming you're back, we're not going to start with those tennis balls right away or little balls or socks. We're going to start with uh, just a normal basketball. All right, and let's just get warmed up by getting your fingers awake and alive by just going back and forth above our head, at your waist, down to your knees. Down to your ankles. Good. Now we're down here. Let's go around your right leg. Good. Now around your left leg. Get that feel for the ball. Good. Now let's do figure eight. We should be pushing ourselves here. Try to do it a little bit quicker than we did last time. And then let's go the other way. Back to front. Good. All right. Now you should be, uh, your fingers should be awake. You should feel the basketball. We're going to start today working on our weak hands. For me, that is my left hand. We're going to work today on strengthening your weak hand. So what I want you to do here is just pound. For most of us, it will be left hand. For you right-handers, I'm sorry, left-handers would be your right hand. Let's go down, weak hand. Good. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to dribble really high. Pound it hard as you can. It's okay, you know, if you think about just trying to basically break the floor, or break the concrete if you're outside or in the garage. We're gonna go 10 high dribbles, and we're gonna go then 10 low dribbles at your knees, pounding the whole time. All right, here we go. Again, we're working on strengthening our weak hand. Oftentimes when you dribble full speed, when you dribble with your strong hand, it's pretty easy. The ball bounces high. But sometimes when you're running, dribbling with your weak hand, it's kind of like, oh wait, why isn't this keeping up with me? Is this ball flat? No, it's because your hand's weaker. So we're working on strengthening. Okay, this time, we're gonna work on going back and forth with our weak hand. We're gonna keep the ball, uh, hand on the same side of the ball. We're gonna go outside of your left leg, inside of your left leg, back and forth. Okay, so it looks like this. Keep the ball, sorry, keep your hand on top of the ball.
good. Stop. Good. Hopefully you're getting warmed up. Hopefully your weak hand is warmed up. So now we're going to move into the tennis ball workout. So what I want you to do here is if you have a wall, great. If you don't have a wall, then we can just throw it up in the air. If you don't have a wall, you can just throw it up in the air to yourself. If you do have a wall, just follow me. What I want you to do here, start dribbling. Let's go right hand to start. Dribble with your right hand. And when you kind of get the rhythm of dribbling, throw the ball against the wall and keep dribbling. Nice job. Let's switch hands now. So now uh, we're going to dribble with our left hand and we're going to throw the ball with our right hand. Again, get your rhythm dribbling and throw the ball that way. Again, if you don't have it, a ball, you can be using a sock. Throw the pair of socks up in the air as you're dribbling. All right, you go. You might be asking why we're doing this. The reason why we are doing this, by the way, this is something that Steph Curry does all the time. The reason why you do this is because what we're trying to get you to do is not concentrate on your dribbles. You should be able to follow the tennis ball and the dribbling comes naturally for you. Think about it in a game. The players who don't have to think about dribbling don't have to look at the dribble. They can survey the court, finding open teammates are often the best passers. The best, uh, the, the best dribblers too. So this is getting you to do two, two, two things at one time, which again, makes dribbling become much, much more natural for you. Good, stop. Now let's go again back to your right hand. Same thing, this time try to pick up the speed a little bit with both the ball and the basketball. I'm gonna let you go for one minute. You see how many you can get in a row without dropping the ball or losing the basketball. If you drop it, just start over and see if you can get in the row. Okay, ready, set, go. Halfway. You gotta keep it up. Remember, if you mess up, no problem. Just grab it again and start your count over again. Ten seconds. switch hands now. So now we're going to go back to dribbling with our left hand and throwing the ball with our right hand. Get ready. We're going to start the same thing a minute again. See if you can get in a row without losing the tennis ball or the sock or the ball or the basketball dribbling off your foot or having to go chase it. We're going to start here. Three, two, one, go. Keep it up, nice job, you're getting better. Push yourself on your speed. Halfway done. OK, 
Keep it up, keep it up. 10 seconds left. Good, time. Nice job. Hey, if this is hard for you, maybe repeat it and see how many you can go, how many you can get. See if you can uh, increase your number in a row. Uh, see this, do this every day. I do it three times a day. It doesn't take that long to do. So if you struggle with it, it's something for you to kind of go back on and work on. All right, we're gonna actually step it up here a little bit. We're gonna try to switch hands with the tennis ball as we're dribbling. So I'm gonna see if I can do it. I don't know if I can. What I want you to try is dribble, cross over, and toss the ball. Give me about one minute more of that. Try to cross over and throw the tennis ball or the sock up in the air, switch hands. If this is easy for you, then maybe you could even try to go behind your back. Toss it up, go behind your back. I can't do that, that's too tough for me. Maybe for some of you who are a little more advanced, that's something that you can work on. Throw it up, go behind your back. Keep going, about 20 seconds more. Keep it up. Good, how was it? Tough? It was tough for me. Uh, so again, that's something for you guys to work on. All right, the last two minutes, Today we're going to work on some explosiveness with our jumping. We're going to try something we haven't tried before. What I want you to do is get down on your knees. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to try to jump up from our knees uh, up into a squat. This is really working on your explosiveness and your strength. So you can start here, bend down a little bit, and then try to explode up. All right, and go back down. Again, explode up from your knees. Try to do this 10 times. If this is too hard for you, start just low in the lowest squat you can with uh, your rear end touching the, your heels of your shoes. Then I want you to explode up and jump. Hopefully your ceiling's a little bit higher than mine. But for those who want a challenge, you're going 10 of those jumps from your knees. Again, watch one more time. Jump up. Really working on your strength. Good. If you've done 10, what I want you to do next is I want you to do 10 more. But this time we're going to take a jump up, then we're going to take a broad jump from there. So it looks like this. Again, one more time. 10 of these. Really working on your explosiveness and your strength with your jumping. 10 of those. And then your last one will be jump up like we did and then a jump sideways. I obviously can't go this way, but I'm gonna jump up and then off the screen. 10 of those. So 30 jumps total. If you guys can't do that from your knees, I want you to start here, jump up, and then jump forward. And then again, if you can't do it from your knees, the last 10, jump up, and then jump sideways. That's it, guys. Good work today. Nice job. This is a good challenge. We'll see you next time.